Welcome to the tutorial. This time, I'll show you something similar to an actual operation and explain the uses of certain tools. The tools that I will be explaining are the syringe, sutures, and forceps. First, select the syringe. The syringe is a tool used to inject different medicines. Right now, there are inflammations in view. Let's try injecting these inflammations with an anti-inflammatory. The anti-inflammatory is the blue bottle at the bottom of the screen. Move the pointer over to the bottle with the blue medicine in it and press the A button. Hold the A button to fill the syringe with medicine. Now move the pointer to an inflammation and press the A button. The inflammation has been treated. Please treat the other inflammations in the same way. All the inflammations have been treated. That is how you inject medicine. Lacerations have occurred in the operating area. Let's treat these lacerations next. To treat the lacerations, use the sutures. Now select the sutures. Hold down the A button and move the pointer in a zigzag motion along the length of the laceration. Once you've sutured from one end of the laceration to the other, let go of the A button. The laceration has been sutured. Please treat the other lacerations in the same way. All the lacerations have been sutured. Just like closing an incision, a laceration is closed by using a zigzag motion along the wound. Let's continue and perform a treatment to remove shards of glass from a patient's body. To remove foreign objects from the area, use the forceps. Now select the forceps. Move the pointer over the glass shard and press both the A and B buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and pull the shard out in the opposite direction than it is lodged in. Now carry it over to the tray and release both buttons. The glass shard has been extracted. Now remove all the other shards using the same method. All the glass shards have been extracted. But now there are wounds left behind from where the glass had entered the body. Use the antibiotic gel to treat small wounds like these. Now, treat one of the small wounds with the antibiotic gel. The wounds have been treated. Let's practice what we've covered here once more. All the lacerations have been sutured. The glass shards have been removed. Don't forget to treat the wounds with the antibiotic gel. The wounds have been treated. Please move on to the other areas. The inflammations have been treated. There are no wounds remaining. Great work! That brings this tutorial to a close.